Read the question carefully. Here we need to prepare the machinery account. So let's have the format first. As given on January 1st, 2010, a new machine was purchased. So we debit bank account with this amount. To this, freight and installation charges were incurred. So we add these charges and the total amount is shown in the outer column like this. Let's name this as M1. Now look here. On 30th April, another machine was purchased. So we again debit bank account and this time we denote this as M2. At the year end, we charge depreciation at the rate of 10% per annum on both the machines. On M1, depreciation is for full year at the rate of 10% on 20 lakhs. But on M2, it is calculated for 8 months. Both the depreciation amounts are shown here like this. After this, we calculate the balancing figure by deducting these amounts from these values. So, for M1, it is 18 lakhs and similarly for M2, it is 14 lakhs. Moving forward to the next year, we bring down these amounts as balance brought down. Now, as no sale or purchase took place during this year, so now we charge depreciation on both the machines. Here, depreciation on M1 remains same, but this time we need to depreciate M2 for the full year. Thus, simplifying all these calculations, we show the depreciation here like this. After this, we tally both the sides and ascertain the balance CD as 16 lakhs and 12 lakh 50 thousand respectively. Again, as we did earlier, we carry these amounts as balance BD for the next year, that is 2012. Now look here. It is given that M1 is sold on September 30th. So first of all, we need to calculate depreciation on this. Let's work out the calculation. Recall the formula for depreciation. Here, the original cost of M1 is 20 lakhs. Rate is 10% and period is 9 months. That is, from 1st of January to 30th September. Now simplifying this, we get depreciation as 1,50,000. We put this figure here on the credit side of the machinery account. Now we need to ascertain the book value of machinery on the day of sale. For this, we use this formula. Here, the value of M1 on 1st January 2012 is 16 lakhs and depreciation as calculated is 1,50,000. Thus, this is the value of M1 on the day of sale. Coming back to the question, we can see that this is the sale price. Now, can you say whether there is profit or loss? Obviously, there is a profit of 50,000 as the sale price is more than the book value. Now, let's see the posting for this. While the sale amount is shown on the credit side, on the other hand, the profit amount is shown on the debit side, like this. Next, revisit the question. It is given that on the same date, another machine has been purchased. So we record this here as M3. Now, at the year end, we provide depreciation on M2 and M3. Like before, on M2, it is 1,50,000. But be careful for M3. Here, we have to provide depreciation for three months. That is, from 1st October to 31st December. So, it is 45,000. Lastly, we close the account by ascertaining the balance CD for both M2 and M3 like this.